exactly get the reaction that I, I thought I would. She kind of went, ah! Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and cowered in fear. Uh, Ford, Adidas, Netflix, two, Starbucks, Barbie, will be in the view. Aldine files defamation suit against Whoopi Goldberg and The View. I am no racist is what Jason Aldine had to say to that situation. If you didn't see my- You have to realize that when you make it about Black Lives Matter, people kind of say, well, are you, are you talking about black people? What are you talking about here? We're talking Whoopi Goldberg is in the news again, and this time it appears it's from the veteran actor Tom Selleck, who apparently isn't holding back. He's dishing the dirt on Whoopi's eyebrow-raising controversies. From jaw-dropping statements to headline-making feuds, Whoopi has been in the public spotlight many, many times, but perhaps none of her controversies so far have been as dramatic as Jason Aldean's latest lawsuit against her. Show, you know, so I think everybody was just kind of stunned and, and really didn't know what to do or, or what was going on or anything. Yeah. Who is Jason Aldean, you ask? Jason Aldean's latest track, Try That in a Small Town, has stirred up quite a commotion since its music video dropped. Despite the song's initial May release, it climbed to the none two spot on the Billboard Hot 100 only after the music video hit the scene a few weeks ago. In the video, we see protests and confrontations with the police, sparking controversy. Nevertheless, despite all the attention and criticism, the song has defied expectations and secured its place on the charts, racking up an impressive 22 million views for the music video. Aldine's lyrics don't mince words. Cuss out a cop, spit in his face, stomp on the flag and light it up. Yeah, you think you're tough. We'll try that in a small town. See how far you make it down the road. Around here, we take care of our own. You cross that line, it won't take long for you to find out. I recommend you don't. This person pointed out the recent big fight in Alabama that went down and how Jason Aldean kept catching heat from it. The way Jason Aldean is catching all the fucking strays with this Alabama situation is tickling me. Another person tweeted about the situation saying, this is what happens when you and your racist hillbilly buddies try that in a small town. Enjoy that ace whopping. And this person had a very hilarious take on the whole situation. Racist was the wrong word to describe that Jason Aldean track. A better description for me is a, it's trash, don't bother. Some people, however, couldn't see why the song was being called racist. I will leave this here for the people who claim this song is so-called racist. It clearly talks about violent crimes and people in all color committing violent crimes. There is nothing racist about this song, at Jason Aldean. This person was also on the Jason Aldean bandwagon. Apparently this song by at Jason Aldean is racist. Having listened to the song and watched the music video, I'm struggling to work out why. Any ideas why the woke left have lost it this time? It's not surprising that Jason caught so much heat for the song considering some of the elements in it could easily be seen as aggressive. And that's exactly why when Whoopi Goldberg weighed in on the song, it only added fuel to the fire. Whoopi Goldberg didn't hold back on The View when it came to Jason Aldean's Try That in a Small Town. According to her, the visual elements depicting the Black Lives Matter protests in the music video missed the mark. He's got folks from the Black Lives Matter movement, and he's talking about people taking care of each other, and I find it so interesting that it never occurred to Jason or the writers that that's what these folks were doing. They were taking care of the people in their town because they didn't like what they saw. In response, it's alleged that Aldean has reportedly filed a hefty $40 million lawsuit against Goldberg and the other hosts of The View, claiming that they implied he was a racist due to his new song. An article titled, Jason Aldean Files Defamation Suit Against Whoopi and The View, I'm No Racist, delves into the details. Notably, ABC has stood by their hosts, citing their protection under the First Amendment's free speech rights. But that seems not to deter Aldine, as his attorney Joe Barron suggested that Whoopi should face the consequences of her actions. To make it more serious, as we've highlighted earlier, it looks like Tom Selleck, who has been a Hollywood heavyweight known for his conservative views, has continued to voice his support for country star Jason Aldean and his hit song about small towns. According to the Dunning-Kruger Times, Selleck shared, I grew up in a small town, said Selleck, and let me tell you, Jason's song was spot on. The source further claims that while his comments were shunned by many in his own circle, Selleck just doesn't care. I have my own set of values to adhere to, he said. In a touching gesture, Aldean reached out to express his gratitude, sending Selleck an autographed thumb drive containing the song and an uncut version of the video. A note attached to it read, To Tom Selleck, from one of your biggest fans. 
Born Jeremy Logan Portabilly in West Gregston, Alabama in 1943, Tom Selleck later adopted his mother's maiden name due to advice from his first agent, who noted that his original name was a bit too outlandish. He graduated from Our Lady of Sea Salt College in Mobile, holding a degree in drama and literature. While he started with commercials for Gillette Razors and Aquanet, Selleck made a name for himself as Magnum P.I., Monica's boyfriend, and a well-known presence on CBS. As Joe Barron noted, he's the perfect guy to call when you need an impressive mustache, even though he can't bat worth a damn. Of course, it's not surprising that Selleck is backing Aldine, especially considering Whoopi's track record of controversies. The co-host of The View found herself in hot water repeatedly in 2022 after making some deeply troubling comments about the Holocaust. These comments led to her being suspended from the long-standing ABC talk show for two weeks in February. The ghost star, who had previously identified as Jewish, faced immense backlash after starting on the January 31, 2022 episode of The View that the Holocaust, which tragically claimed over 6 million Jewish lives, was not about race. It's about man's inhumanity to man. Kim Godwin, ABC News president, swiftly took action, stating on February 1, 2022, Effective immediately, I am suspending Whoopi Goldberg for two weeks for her wrong and hurtful comments. While Whoopi has apologized, I've asked her to take time to reflect and learn about the impact of her comments. The entire ABC News organization stands in solidarity with our Jewish colleagues, friends, family, and communities. While Goldberg did offer an apology back then, she maintained her stance in December 2022. My best friend said not for nothing is there no box on the census for the Jewish race. So that leads me to believe that we're probably not a race, she told the Sunday Times. Remember who they were killing first? They were not killing racial. They were killing physical. They were killing people they considered to be mentally defective. And then they made this decision. These offensive remarks about World War II were just one instance among many where she stirred up controversy over the years. In July 2015, she controversially defended Bill Cosby in the midst of numerous accusations of sexual assault against him, asserting that he was innocent until proven guilty. Cosby was later sentenced to prison for sexual assault in 2018, though his conviction was eventually overturned after serving three years. After facing backlash, Goldberg shifted her stance during an appearance on ABC News later that month. During the hash Oscar So White debate in January 2020, which centered on the lack of diversity in Oscar nominations, Goldberg took the stance that the award show wasn't about race. She pointed to her own 1991 Best Supporting Actress, Oscar Wynn, for her role in Ghost as evidence. The issue is not the Academy, Goldberg stated on The View at the time. Even if you fill the Academy with Black and Latino and Asian members, if there's no one on the screen to vote for, you're not going to get the outcome that you want. She added, I won once, so it can't be that racist. Goldberg also faced significant backlash after sharing her views on the 2014 domestic violence incident involving Ray Rice, who was caught on video brutally abusing his wife, Jenny Palmer. Don't be surprised if you hit a man, he hits you back. Goldberg stated on The View at the time, I know I'm going to catch a lot of hell and I don't care, but you have to teach women. Do not live with this idea that men have this chivalry thing still with them. Don't assume that that is still in place. In a more recent revelation, Whoopi Goldberg admitted she regrets ever tying the knot, even though she went through three marriages in the past. She candidly expressed frustration over the boring and expensive nature of her trio of divorces. During a lively discussion on Tuesday's episode of The View, the 67-year-old star opened up about her romantic history, she shared how she found herself dancing and prancing each time her marriages came to an end. Whoopi has undergone three divorces with her last marriage to union organizer Lyle Trachtenberg ending in 1995. Reflecting on her third marriage, she found that the process was becoming increasingly monotonous and financially draining, implying that this has deterred her from saying I do again. Despite being romantically linked with high profile figures like actors Timothy Dalton and Ted Danson, during the conversation about relationships with her co-hosts, Whoopi grew visibly exasperated, particularly when Joy Bahar playfully suggested that women should consider marrying younger men. Looks like you have a lot of things to complain about, Whoopi. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.